want to look back at last year, but what does it mean to have a game like that you had to kind of grind through physically and mentally? Um, yeah, you know, I... I personally think we all, you could see the progression, you know, just out there. You know, I think it started with Evan, you know what I mean, to start the game, you know, but I think for us, that third quarter really could have went one or two ways, you know, and I felt like for the guys that were here last year, just kind of being a part of that and flipping the script around the five-minute mark or whatever, like it was going to get ugly, it's going to get physical. that's how the series is going to be, uh, but how do you respond? <clears throat> that's been my message all year, you know, we're going to get beat up. You know, we're going to turn the ball over. We're going to have bad possessions. We're not going to make shots. We're going to get out-rebounded in situations. We didn't get out-rebounded tonight, but stuff like that's going to happen. But how do you respond? You know what I mean? And that was a great response, how we, we did it tonight. But at the end of the day, you learn from it. You, you, you enjoy it, but it's one game. So this is something to build on, and we got to do it again in game two. It looks like you had a lot of your burst and your lift back. Mm -hmm. Did that week off help a lot? Yeah, big time. Um, you know? Like I said, one percent better every day. Just continuing to to get back to um, where I feel like I'm comfortable and I feel like I can be even better. I think there were spots where, you know, I turn the ball over in situations or doing different things. You know, just continuing to play my game and just continuing to put the treatment in and put the work in. Kendall, <clears throat> you have a pretty streak going of just really strong scoring performances in Game Ones of series for the mm -hmm. past five or six series mm -hmm. you've played. And what is it about the start of a series? In do you feel different heading yeah, it sets a tone. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it started last night. I just told it to BJ. Like, <laughs> one of, first of all, I hate early games. You know, <laughs> so like, kind of trying to get myself mentally ready to the point where I only got three hours, two hours of sleep last night, just because I was sitting there like hype. Like, I just everything that happened tonight. You know, just seeing the towels, seeing the whiteout. Like, it's just something you dream of as a as a kid. So I always tell people I never lose that. You know what I mean? And kind of it brings out, but also setting the tone from a more professional standpoint, setting the tone. But um, yeah, it's exciting. This is, this is, I love this. You know what I mean? This is something that's great. But in the same token, this game is over with. You know what I mean? This this is just trying to set that tone. And now I got to do it again and again and uh, definitely get to bed. Jimmy. <clears throat> Donovan, how much does it help you to get, have I mean, George and Max won mm -hmm. today, but how much does it help you to have guys like that that defenses have to respect mm -hmm. no matter? Yeah, and I think honestly, a lot of it too is Max had nine rebounds. You know what I mean? There was <clears throat> there was a possession we played Indiana, and he I missed a three. He grabs the rebound, and then DG comes back and hits a three. Like those are the winning plays. You know that's what he's obviously we all know Miami's culture down there. That's what he's obviously groomed from and bringing that over here to us. And that started at the beginning of the year when he was the leader in the sprints. You know what I mean? That's just the little things. Um, that he brings to us. And it's not always going to be, you know, a 20-point in a fourth quarter night for Max, but he's always going to give us. He's a plus 13 tonight, even though he didn't shoot the ball well and had five turnovers. Like, to still be plus 13 speaks a lot to him. Um, and his voice, and then George as well. George was also a plus 13 and then hit 1-3, you know, just continuing to be a positive voice and an important voice while being out there. You guys had the big run in the third and the fourth quarter right after you guys had the offense kind of bogging down a little bit. Figure out during that stretch. Um, <clears throat> just getting back to what we do, <clears throat> they're gonna like. Uh, you know, I think that's that's the biggest thing. Getting back to our game plan, continue to push the pace, get our looks. Um, you know, getting into the paint, finding guys, and the biggest thing too is when you're not hitting shots, you know, not getting discouraged. And they were making some, uh, but we were we were able to you know hold them under 90, which was you know great defensively, but we weren't converting. You know, so that's definitely tough when you're getting stops. And you're not converting, um, but when you have the mental fortitude in your battle test, and you have guys that are battle tested, um, you know I think that's something that really helped us during that during that stretch, and um, we got the win in it. What does your performance today uh, say about where you where you are physically and emotionally? Um, this is who I am. You know that's kind of been my my message all year. This is why I'm here, and this is one game. You know I could have had 10 tonight, you know, as long as we got the dub, I'd do anything it takes to win. But for me, um, I know I'm capable of this. I've shown it. Um, so now it's just continually doing it on a night to night basis. This doesn't, this isn't something that like I did and it's like, oh, like, okay, like, I can, no, I, I, this is who I am. Um, and now just con being consistent and doing that and also being a leader throughout that as well. You mentioned, um, you know, the, the white towels and the t-shirts mm -hmm. and all that. Like, mm -hmm. we all know you grew up as a Cavs fan and what was going on here at the yeah. time. 
And then last year you get to the playoffs and it was tough and, and it, you know, in a way you didn't want. Mm -hmm. Is there a part of you that is sort of chasing a taste of that magic here that you saw when, when you were a kid? I mean, yeah, it's, it's something that when you – Honestly, it's really Ahmad screaming and yelling in the towels for me. Like that's that's really that's really what like when he's every time out. Like I don't if the camera ever pants me, you probably see me like just looking, just because this is what it's about. This is this is why I work so hard. This is why we work so hard. This is this is what it is, you know. And this was game one of a playoff series, first game, first game of the playoffs, um, and I expect it to be like that on Monday. You know, you can feel the noise and feel the energy. I'm driving around. I had to get something late last night, and there was these little kids, like, you know, screaming, like, all right, come on, like, you know, and that's, that's, that's something that, you know, I, I, I really enjoy. And, yeah, like, you know, seeing it and hearing it as a kid here and now doing it here and watching, especially after last year, um, <clears throat> the Phil Collins, you know, song, when that comes on, the whole ground shakes, like, all oh, that, like, I love that. You know what I mean? That's, I'll never lose the kid inside me while being a, a pro in what I do. Um, and I think that's just something that's really, it's just dope, to be honest with you. Um, and continuing to enjoy that because this is it's awesome. Do you know, since you said I'm going to follow up, do, do you know about them playing that song before game six in 2016 and LeBron and Kyrie with the air drums and all that? No, I, I, don't, I don't know about that, but I can understand. <laughs> I can understand why they did that because it's, it's loud. I don't know who does it, but it's loud. It's loud, and like I said, it's just it's fun, man, but... In the same token, I still got to be able to stay here with it, but I'm never going to lose the moments you have when you start when you when you do these things. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Michael, not usually what I go by. Uh, Don, <laughs> you guys talked all week about practicing for the more physical mm -hmm. physical series, getting ready for this. How did the actual physicality of today's game compare to what you expected? Um, I mean, we played them four times, and we we knew, you know, and there. They're a group that can guard. You know, they got a bunch of guys that can be physical. Um, so we knew that. And, you know, I think the biggest thing now, especially learning from last year, obviously, is just how do you handle it? You know, how do you continue to push through? And it's going to be like this all series. You know, it's it's not malicious. It's just playoff basketball. This is what it is. And I think we're mentally ready for it and equipped for it. So now it's just continually doing it on a night-to-night -night basis. But, you know, this come, doesn't come as a shock to us. And <clears throat> just continuing to follow our game plan throughout um, when the team's physical, you still got to find ways to execute. We didn't for a little bit, and then we found it. You know, so when we go back and watch the film, it's how do we continue to push through? Um, and you give them credit; they they did a good job, but we also did a good job as well. Continue to fight through um, the physicality and continue, especially our bigs, man. Jay and Ed were phenomenal tonight, um, and we're gonna need that consistently every night. Speaking of that, he hit those two threes early. Mm -hmm. How much did him making those threes kind of change how you were attacking the pick and roll with the extra space? And yeah, I was, I was like, uh oh. I was like, here comes a heat check or something, you know what I mean? But that's <clears throat> that's big for him, you know, and big for us as well. Just the confidence, even the one he took in the th fourth, the third, in the in the uh, on the wing, like you know, I didn't I, it didn't go in, but just the confidence to be able to take and not shot faking, because sometimes that's the best shot we're gonna get. So take it and be confident in it. And I think for a young player to continuously work at it, um, and I said the same thing about Isaac Okoro, to continuously work at it. And then to see it happen in a moment like that, especially to start the game, you know, that's huge. That does, that does wonders for someone, not even just us, but more so for him. And it's just a testament to the work he's continually putting in now. I always say this, you got you did a game one, you could do it again and again and again and again. Darryl, <clears throat> um, how does it feel to start this series off basically checking the boxes? You win the rebound, mm -hmm. battle mm -hmm. big. You maintain the composure when Orlando's mm -hmm. trying to turn up the physicality mm -hmm. and mix things up. You overcome the... The slump from beyond the arc there that you guys had. Just how good does it feel? Just kind of all those things that you bullet pointed going into the, the series to check those off in game one. Yeah, it, it does feel good, but this is, um, I said this about us making the playoffs. This is just who we are. Like, it's not always going to be pretty. I've sat up here a few times this year and said that, but we're going to find a way. Um, so this is what's expected of us, you know what I mean? This is, and still too is one game. You know, we did it for one game, so we're not going to sit here and pat ourselves on the back and, you know, get excited over it. You know, we did a lot of things well. We also did a lot of things we can work on. So it's just how do we continue to build and prep for Monday? Um, so I think it's it's always great to get a win, especially when you shoot 26% from three and, you know, you have the turnovers that us, me, Max, and DG had. So how do we build upon that? You know what I mean? That's the biggest thing. So it's, it's definitely great, but at the end of the day, it's one game, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. I will come game two. We got to do it again and again and again. 
Um, yeah, I, I forgot well, who was saying it. I think it was Chris was saying I don't dunk anymore. Um, <laughs> uh, but no, it was good just to get the steal and to get up there and kind of just scream and, and you know let emotion out. But it's playoff basketball, and you know it's time. Last two, Ethan Donovan, you talked about Darius Garland's growth this season and being able to see him in late game opportunities. How does those opportunities <coughs> pay dividends and? What is the emotion and feeling of just seeing him contribute in those late game moments? Um, big time. You know, I think I said it after he hit the shot against um, Indiana. You know, like, it's not always going to just be in my hands. Like, you know, we trust each other, and I trust him, and the team trust him to make plays, and it's just going out there and being aggressive. You know, the last shot he hit against uh, on the right wing against Paolo, like, go be that. Go be great. And I got mad at him for trying to pass it to Abe. Like, take the layup. You know what I mean? Like, continually be aggressive. And, you know, this season, obviously, <clears throat> for him has been, you know, up and down, in and out of the lineup. So, you know, for a young player to continue to maintain that, you know, first of all, the positive attitude, you know, continue to be the key with a smile on his face. But then also coming into these situations where he started off making shots, didn't really make shots, had some turnovers, but still finished 14 and 8. You know, continuing to find ways to impact the game, um, that's huge. And we're going to need that for the rest of the series and the rest of the playoffs. He's really had some problems with his back. He's mm -hmm. been wearing like a heating mm -hmm. pad and stuff when he's on the bench. What is it like to see him continue to fight? And mm -hmm. even he waved off Karras when he was at mm -hmm. the scorer's table. Mm -hmm. got to check in for him and seeing that from him. Yeah, he's resilient. You know, he's he's a kid. Uh, I call him a kid, but he's, he's, uh, he's a guy that, you know, is just wants to be out there, wants to fight, you know, and we, we, we love that. We appreciate that. And, you know, everybody's going through something, and for him to continue to push through and be, be himself, that's big for us, and it's going to be big for us if we want to win at the highest level. Last one. Donovan, you know, a lot has been said about the toughness of this team, both mentally and physically. You come out here and you get a win and a game where, you know, some of the box score stuff really didn't look all that great. Mm -hmm. What does that say about this team this year compared to last year, and how much better can this team play in game two? Um, I think we do a lot of things. Um, <clears throat> obviously, just looking at a statistical standpoint, we could say we could do a lot better. But also, I think, you know, we can also play better. I think we can also do a lot better, a better job of creating for others. Like, I only had three assists today, four turnovers. You know, DG was the high man in assists, like being able to help each other out in that regard. Um, you know, getting on the boards. I only had three, you know. DG had two. We can help get the get help the bigs, you know, even though they dominated the boards tonight, we can still help them. But, you know, last year, I think you're always viewed on the playoffs last year and, and whatnot, but I think last year is, is over with. You know, I mean, I think we've kind of flushed that. You know, I think it's it's great to get this win the way we got it and how we won. Uh, but at the end of the day, like I said, this is this is who we are. You know, I mean, this is who we expect to be. And, you know, throughout the stuff we did throughout the regular season, there was times where we – they look great. It's time they look great. You know what I mean? There's all these trials and tribulations. That's pretty much what the regular season's about. So as long as you stay here with it, like stay here mentally and understand that, you know, this is all prepping us, you know, for, for this. And, you know, I could sit here and be happy and say, yeah, we did it tonight. But, you know, I won't have the answer to you until we get four wins and then another four and then another four. So, like, it's great. You know, it's a, it's a feel good. But at the end of the day, it's only one. Oh, we got three more times to do the same thing. And then we got to do it on the road, you know, when there's no – White out and towels and all that. So um, that's that's my biggest thing. I think that's all of our mindsets. And then last thing, does this game one victory mean another trip to Mitchell's ice cream? <laughs> yeah, um, I go there a lot actually. You know, I um, they they are um, down the street from my house, so I definitely am there a lot. But um, so shout out to them. I appreciate them. Um, but you know that's. I probably have to wait until after this series to then, you know, hopefully we get a break in between, um, you know, but that's that's my spot. So um, I'll hold off until after we take care of business. Okay. Appreciate it.